Ladies and gentlemen, another week down here at Frankie's Free Range Meat. I will no longer be praising the Chinese Communist Party as I have not received a Chinese princess in the mail. And more realistically, I have also not received any special discounts on Chinese goods. So until that happens, uh, we're gonna have to figure something else out. But hey, look, we've made it another week without me retiring to the Colombian jungle opening a, a vegan restaurant with a, a, I don't know, some type of a Amazonian girl. But uh, let's lay off the nonsense until later. We're gonna take a look around as usual, guys. New products, always trying to get you affordable stuff and there's also uh, a few things I'm excited about that we might do in the upcoming weeks. So it's like Sunday at 5.30. My schedule's been fried, dude. I was up until, I think, 7 a.m. <laughs> so technically not even last night. I was up until 7 a.m. in the morning because I took a nap, got up at 1 a.m. Then I had to do a few hours of work. I had to film the YouTube video. So I only, I didn't even fall asleep, really. Then I got out of bed at like 12 noon. So by the time I got down to work here, it was already like 2 o'clock and I had a few hours. So now it's like 5.45 and I'm screaming to go home and uh, eat lunch but we're going to uh, we're going to show you guys around a little bit talk about what's going on and um, I need to start learning Russian because if I keep spending three hours a day in the freezer that's going to be my mother tongue uh, so here on the foods website guys nothing new just keeping everything in stock like the udon noodles uh, we did restock the chocolate that you guys like a lot <laughs> uh, one day I was down here and uh, I ate like three of these which is like 1500 calories the salted almond, very delicious. But uh, high quality organic chocolate, I've been enjoying that. Most of the bars are in stock, guys. We got the pemmican, plain pemmican, quinoa crisp, vanilla, chocolate berry, best bars, and we have a, a small amount of granola bars left. Uh, big restock this week. We got all the biltong and the beef sticks back. So if you guys have been waiting for uh, beef sticks or you know the plain biltong as well as the uh, flavored biltong, we have everything available as well as you know the jerky that is still in stock more biltong down there all different sizes haven't made the tatomi's cookies yet i was thinking like hey how can we make them a little better even though a lot of you guys really like them as is um and they're called they're called tatomi's very vegan cookie so i have to keep them vegan because some ideas i had were uh were not vegan so i'm, I'm going to get some ingredients in next week critique the recipe a little bit and we'll see if it turns out a little more moist. It's just hard to, it's because we don't use preservatives or like um, additives and chemicals in these bars. So it's it's hard to get them to be shelf stable because those cook, we try to sell those cookies as quick as possible because they will start getting mold on them in three or four weeks. That's just what happens with, you know, fresh high quality foods. So we're, we're gonna alter the recipe a bit and see if we can uh, change it at all. On organ supplements, we have uh, flextros in larger containers now and after we're done with this whey protein the whey protein is also going to be put in the larger containers I showed you guys a few times and we did some videos recently magnesium complex zinc complex multi-mineral multivitamin four main new products we got uh, some of you guys have been bugging me to restock some of the Wi-Fi shielding stuff with how the economy is and how tight I am financially I didn't really want to do it but I'm gonna do it so hopefully Maybe in about a month, we'll have most of the clothing sizes back and some more canopies and stuff. And if you guys don't buy them, then uh, I guess I'm going to be shit out of luck. All right, so we'll show you guys in the fridge. Preferably not in the dark. So this is actually uh, some cookie dough we're going to send to the, the farmer and have him make uh, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. That's going to be a new product hopefully next week, as well as some uh, maple pecan ice cream, which we might try, which uh, someone messaged me as an idea uh, to do. And we, we kind of had the ingredients for it conveniently, so I think we'll do it. So you guys bought all of the Belota Iberico. We have restocked some this week, and we still have the Sebo, which is a, a little more affordable than the Belota. And then what's new is we got some prosciutto. So this is San Daniel. Uh, my guys cut it a little thicker than you're supposed to cut prosciutto, but the problem is uh, when you vacuum seal this, uh, if they're thin, you can't even peel them. It, the, it, it just rips apart when the slices are too thin. So maybe we'll try it thinner, but it's probably gonna fall apart. But 
Uh, $15, eight ounces. I thought it was pretty affordable because San Daniel is the highest quality prosciutto. Uh, the main difference between this and the Iberico pork is, is this is not aged as long, and I think they use a little less salt in the prosciutto. So two new cured meat products. We got a lot of new dairy and cheeses last week, so if you guys want to see, definitely check the raw cheese section as well as the local Amish dairy section on the website. There's a lot of new stuff. All the fresh dairy just came in. We're shipping tomorrow milk kefir, sheet milk, buttermilk. There's some cream down there, heavy cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, farmer's cheese. There's uh, a cheese dip somewhere. We got cheese curds. What's new this week is a cheese spread. Uh, this is made uh, apparently differently than everything else. There's a lot of different recipes, so um, this would be really delicious on some bread. Uh, you know, just take some of this, spread it on the bread. Amazing, high quality, delicious meal. You guys want to see the prosciutto? This is, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Most of the time, if you go to uh, even an Italian deli, let alone a Whole Foods, they're gonna have like um, a Parma ham, not even like prosciutto di Parma. And this is above prosciutto di Parma. You see 24 month, two year aged San Danielle. Highest quality prosciutto from Italy. Yeah, so those are those are two new products this week: the cheese spread and the uh, prosciutto. Uh, unfortunately, on the duck egg end of things, uh, the fa farmer messed up. Whatever he's doing over there, he had some issue with his water pipes. Duck stopped laying. So hopefully, we can get some duck eggs back in a month. But I do want to apologize to you guys because we've been sold out of duck eggs for like two or three months. This is not acceptable from a business perspective, uh, but it's out of my control at this point. Uh, we'll talk about some other new products we might do after we look in the freezer. Into the tundra. Uh, I think we're going to keep this quick today because there's not too many new things, just a bunch of restocks. Uh, chuck steaks back in stock. Chuck roll back in stock. This is just some lamb fat. Uh, big restock is the uh, ground chicken thighs, the ground dark meat. Let me know how you guys like this. Uh, Probably not going to happen until the end of this year after we run out of this. Oh, another new product that we used to have a few years ago in the beef share is the Scrapple. So this is basically beef liverwurst, which is beef and beef fat mixed with some grains. So this is like kind of like a healthy version of Spam. Honey ice cream came in last week, vanilla ice cream last week. Uh, another big restock is the chicken. Uh, we were sold out of chicken for maybe a week or two, but we got everything back. Breasts, wings, drumsticks thighs as well. Uh, egg whites, I think I put them at five dollars. You guys aren't big on egg whites. Yeah, and over here are the chicken thighs. Yeah, actually not too much to show you guys in the freezer, which is nice. I'm sure I forgot something, but uh, that's fine for now. I'm just trying to... Yeah, so we got uh, hopefully some new products coming in next week too if they have time to make those two new ice cream flavors and uh, maybe something else, I don't know. Uh, but some things I'm excited to do are uh, steak sauce. <laughs> like, like fine, Frank's being reasonable. Meat business, making steak sauce, not, uh, not selling cookies, right? Like, let's take a step back, you know, let's take a step back, let's be reasonable. Uh, I tried a recipe for steak sauce, made it in my house. Uh, when we get the kitchen equipment set up in here, we'll make, it is, I don't even want to talk about it too much because it, it was so it was so delicious. Have to do it. It's going to be amazing. I'm just worried logistically it's going to be difficult to make. And I mean, look, if you guys bought enough of it every week, I'd probably have to hire. I could probably hire someone just to make the steak sauce. And I mean, another product to break even on. But eventually, <laughs> once you break even on a lot of products, it, it it eventually you can eventually make some money because you have some products that have good margins, and then uh, other products bring people in, but the problem I had for most of the time running this business is I was basically breaking even the whole time. Kind of still am, but we're hoping that uh, we get some loans or grants or something. Other, otherwise, uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought that far yet, but no. Point is, steak sauce is definitely a product I'm really excited and looking forward to doing. Hopefully, we get that kitchen equipment set up in two or three weeks and we can get the steak sauce going. The, re the recipe is pretty much uh, ready, good to go. I ordered some bottles in. We gotta have some labels designed, so maybe uh, maybe middle of next month we'll have that ready. Um, if any of you guys wanna 
uh, write me a check for $1,000. I'll make you a personal custom batch next week. Any, any billionaires want the best steak sauce they've ever had? <laughs> Early release. Um, uh, all jokes aside, uh, yeah, that should be cool. And then uh, we might do uh, a concentrated cavity paste, which is different because the tooth powder is, yeah, it's, it's for remineralizing your tooth powder. But it, it, you know, it has some peppermint in there. It's meant to brush your teeth with. It's it's meant to clean. I might get a uh, a very concentrated, and it's not going to taste that good. It's not going to have like peppermint flavor. I might make a very concentrated um, mineral uh, paste with some vitamins in it that you would like put in your mouth before going to bed. I'll, I'll have. I, I think we might do that. Um, that's if like you have cavities or you're trying to fix your teeth or something. But uh, I guess we can. I guess we can read some reviews real quick. Oh, good thing it's sitting here on the table right in front of me. I forgot to show you guys another new product. We used to sell this too, some of you might remember, a few years ago, the Garum Colatera fish sauce. This is available on the Foods website because uh, these were breaking and leaking. I think it was because they were freezing and the, gl uh, the glass was shattering. So we're just shipping these on the Foods website. It's, it's kind of similar to fish sauce. Uh, a, little, a little milder, not as funky. Colatera di Alici, Italian. Garum. If you guys are unfamiliar with garum, search it anywhere. People do a lot of cool videos on it. So I'm gonna read these reviews because they're clogging up my uh, my inbox <laughs> every time I go to check my emails because I forward them to myself. Five star review for the grass fed whey protein. Cheap for good reason. Quality. Best price for this quality out there. Tastes kind of like the best bar. Good job, cross eyes Frankenstein. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, five star review for the product water kefir insanely good this kefir is insanely good I tried making it myself with the grains and I failed miserably these batches come in perfectly with an amazing flavor going to be buying for a long time Yeah, if you guys look if you guys ever are unhappy with the quality I'm, I'm not always here to quality control so just send me an email we can always issue a refund if you can't make the water kefir yourself it, the water you're using and the temperature are the, are the two main things people mess up with um, five star review for the organic potato chips no seed oils Hope the, these stay for good. Beef tallow tater chips are game changing. Only one on the market I can find. Look, if I if I can't find if I can't find a company to make these for me, I'm going to get some manufacturing equipment and do it myself. And I might even have to hire someone to help me do it. But uh, I can't, I can't be paying this Amish guy all this money for these chips because I can't I can't sell them at an, uh, an operable price. Five star view for the A two A two raw ice cream. Some awesome ice cream. Had to buy all three initially and glad I did. They're all awesome. So dense, delicious, and not too sweet. And the price is not bad, all things considered. 10 out of 10. If someone's selling ice cream that quality for a lower price online, please let me know. I'll be, I'll, I'll be ready to retire. Five star view for the pasture raised eggs. Amazing eggs. Yolks are gorgeous, deep orange red. I eat six eggs a day and I feel fuller longer on these eggs versus the store bought pasture raised. Five star view for the grass fed ribeye steak. Excellent, tender and flavorful, just the right amount of marbling. Five star review for the beef butter beef tallow moisturizing cream. Holy shit. Well, I cursed in this video, right? <laughs> Might as well say it. Holy shit. A tallow moisturizer that doesn't make my face all shiny and girly. Plus, it's half the price of others, yet double the size. Keep kicking these corporations' asses, Frankie boy. I think I mentioned in every video, like, when these, these people control the media, so they can sell literal snake oil. For eighty, what really irritates me is when they blatantly price gouge and they sell supplements for like eighty dollars a bottle. Like that's not a, that's not reasonable or fair way to do business. Like okay, if you look at the market and people are selling stuff at X price, but but if the product costs you whatever to make, you shouldn't you should never have to charge more than double what it costs you to make. And some of these people are paying like five or ten bucks to manufacture a supplement and charging eighty dollars for it. That's not. That's not reasonable or fair. That's, that's something I would never do. That's why a lot of the products you guys see me sell is the lowest price online because I'm not basing it off of what other, I'm basing it off of what's fair. Five star view for pasture raised chicken eggs. Bought these eggs, a little skeptical truthfully, but I wasn't disappointed. The eggs are amazingly delicious. I compared them side by side to someone who shall not be named, pasture raised eggs and the yolk egg white consistency was noticeably different. These will be my primary source of eggs moving forward. My only complaint is that six or seven eggs arrive cracked. And this is an email. Uh, the heavy cream is such an underrated product. It brings coffee to a whole new level. If only you drank coffee, you'd be able to demonstrate this in a video. Uh, the cream must be stirred before it's added to the coffee or it just doesn't work. 
I plan on buying at least 10 of these next time they're in stock. Tell your Amish friend to make cream instead of butter. Five star, another review for the eggs. Good stuff. Eggs came perfectly intact and packed very well. Fresh for sure. There were a couple of feathers still attached. <laughs> another egg review. Oh, no, same one. Five star review for the sauerkraut. This is the best kraut that I have tasted. So fresh. Didn't know it could taste so good without vinegar. We'll buy again. Yeah, we got... You guys can probably see it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're sold out of sauerkraut in Jordan here right now, but our best batch to come is right behind me, should be ready maybe this week. The sauerkraut sliced much thinner and the Jordan is chopped much smaller. Another egg review. Very tasty eggs, fresh with yolks, a deep orange color as shown in the website picture. I believe the color shows the chickens were fed a nutritious diet and truly pasture raised. I will continue to buy them. And this is a review for the new multivitamin, Natural Ratios Multivitamin on OregonSupplements.com. Great multivitamin. <clears throat> maybe I need uh, maybe I need more than a multivitamin with my voice cracking. Wow, a multivitamin that actually works. Tried taking many multivitamins and they make me feel sick. Saw Frankie's and the pill is pretty much my whole stack. So I figured instead of five to 10 different pills, just try one. Works great and didn't feel any type of upset stomach. Insane price on these two. Yep, only $23 for the highest quality multivitamin and multimineral online. Then we got a deodorant review, simple, amazing. Great deodorant, works really well. This is a five star view for the Tatomi's chocolate chip cookie bars. They're great, not too sweet, good calories, have one every day. Yeah, we're gonna try to improve it even more. Five star view for the A282 raw ice cream, delicious. Frankie, you're killing it my dude. I ate the entire tub in about 10 minutes. Best tasting ice cream and on top of that, quality and simple ingredients. A bit expensive, but well worth it. Five star view for the best burger bun ground beef. Money! Hands down the best burger I've ever had and made it myself. I paired it with raw cheddar cheese and my goodness was this good 10 out of 10. Yeah, no. Um, even when we did the best burger reviews in New York, like no, no one ever used like a high quality grass fed burger, good cheese and, and homemade buns. It makes a really amazing homemade burger if you do it yourself. Five star view for the grass fed beef pet food. Second best to Frankie's chicken heads. My dog absolutely loves the chicken heads, but she also devoured this lovely blend of beef and beef parts. Five star view for the best bar. Great nutrition. I absolutely love these bars. A little pricey, <laughs> pricey. Why don't you go buy it from the young Jewish girl who's selling it for twice the price of me, right? These bars give me so much more energy than other bars out there without that drowsy or sick feeling that I get when I eat overly processed foods. My one and only complaint is that the consistency changes from time to time, but I feel like that's to be expected is not every batch can be exactly the same. We, we just, um, we changed the recipe actually recently uh, to be a lot higher in protein. Uh, that's probably why you notice the consistency change. Five star review for the raw cow's milk Parmigiano Reggiano. Raw parm, best cheese I've ever had in my life. I hope, I hope it is bro, because those 80 pound wheels of Parmesan are the reason my lower back hurts right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me wrap this up so I can get home and continue to fuck up my schedule by taking a nap every day. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying the products. You guys are doing an excellent job of supporting us despite a lot of the, uh, uh, the people that don't want me to be in business. Yeah, you guys know, as you guys continue to support me, I, I keep offering you guys new affordable products and hopefully at some point, uh, you know, we're, we're an even higher quality uh, with everything across the board and can even uh, lower the prices in some cases, especially when uh, we get we get set up a little better. But who knows if I'll be in Colombia by then or Moscow or I don't know. What's my favorite ethnicity this week? Anyway, you guys can go to frank stefanocom where you'll see Frankie's Range Meat, Frankie's Range Foods, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Did I miss a business yet? Um, and you guys can see all of my unique and creative product ideas. Uh, but that'll be it for this week. So as always, thank you guys for joining. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.